In this video, I'm going to show you a cover four drop bomb against the uh, 335 from the bunch tied in in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this YouTube video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And one of the ways we do that. Um, is through doing daily videos just like this one where we basically break down you know different strategies different tactics in the game to help you be successful and so in today's video we're going to be breaking down how to bomb cover four drop from the bunch tight end offense now um, real quick if you haven't subscribed yet it's completely free to do so and it allows you to basically know whenever we release a new video now one thing i did want to hit on before we jump into the tutorial um, is if you have not gotten this bunch tight end offense, I actually released a full offensive ebook, which is basically an offensive guide on how to run the bunch tight end. It's a full playbook, full breakdown, and it shows you how to literally dominate just by using this one offense. And so if you want to get the full bunch tight end offensive ebook, it is on sale right now for just $15 and it is in the description. It's a great way to be able to support me as a creator and it allows me to keep doing what I'm doing on YouTube. So make sure if you have not gotten it yet, it's just 15 bucks and it's going to help your offense. It's helped a lot of people offensively. It's actually been a phenomenal, uh, phenomenal ebook that we've released. So um, if you have any questions about the video today, just shoot me a text. My number will be in the top left hand corner of your screen. That is my personal cell phone number. But let's dive in. We're talking about the play PA All Cross today as a cover for bomb. So what you're going to do is you're going to smart route Valdez Scantling. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use what I believe to be probably one of the best pull routes in Madden 21 right now, and that is the option route. So we're just going to put the running back on a smart routed option route. And then the last thing that we're going to do, um, well, I guess a couple things. We're going to put Devontae Adams on an out route, and then we're going to put Tavon Austin on a slant, and we're going to put the tight end on a flat route. As you can see here, this is the route combination that we're going to use. And we're just going to motion Tavon Austin from left to right and snap the ball right about here. And what you're going to notice here is the cover four defense is going to absolutely glitch out. And you're going to have a one play touchdown right over the top for a one play score. Now, the beauty of this is it gives you multiple options if even if they don't do that. So, for example, let's say that they run. Let's say that they look like they're running cover four, right? But instead of running cover four, they're running cover two, okay? Um, we're going to use the same route combination. Uh, whoops. And the beauty of this option route is it is a very, very effective pull route. It pulls the deep blue zones really, really well. So here's that cover two now. And what you'll see is cover two does a better job over the top. As you can see, we can't we can't quite get over the top of this, but what we have created is we've created a very effective underneath passing option as well. We basically have a slant and a flat concept on the backside, and this low ball slant is going to be wide open consistently. Now, most of the time, their user is going to take the low ball slant, and what that's going to mean is it's going to mean that the running back out of the backfield should be wide open because you have a flat route to pull the zones, um, to pull the flat zones out of the way. And this is going to do a good job against Mabel coverage. If they Mabel coverage, if they do any of that stuff, your running back just low ball it right there, and they will almost never intercept that ball. That's a very easy and effective low ball. Another thing that's really nice about this play is let's say that, you know, let's say that their user is a little bit lackadaisical, you know, not paying a ton of attention. And this is actually a really effective thing. If they run with Tavon Austin, you can just hit this running back route right up the middle, just like that little quick pop pass uh, right up the middle. If they don't drop any of their defensive linemen into coverage, um, it is really, really difficult to stop this. Another thing that you can do is if you wanted to, you could bring that from multiple people. So, for example, if I wanted to bring Devontae Adams in motion, I could. And as you're going to see here, this is going to also help with the whole play, um, as you can see there over the top. Now, you do need good pass protection. So what I recommend doing, um, you know, I, I recommend double teaming 
especially if they're in like a three three five wide, I recommend double teaming the person opposite of your best line uh, best lineman. So in this example, uh, we're going to double team that left side guy. And then we're going to um, essentially just run this play just like this right here. And again, you're just reading. You know, you're going to have your quick flats. You're going to have your slants. You're going to have all these combinations wide open. But as you can see here, um, you know, you're going to basically just be able to laser. Um, it's a very, very good bomb against cover four for you. It's going to be very, very consistent. You don't have to, The other thing that I want to hit on real quick is you don't have to actually smart route the post if you don't want to. So, And, and sometimes it's almost better if you don't. So you'll see here the beauty of this um, bunch tight end post route is it's two windows. It's multi-purpose you know, it's multi -purpose, um, type of post route. But as you'll see right here, when you don't smart route him, it's it's almost worse for the safety. Um, you almost get more separation if you don't smart route him. Now, one of the beauties of this is let's let me show you this real quick. This is against cover four match. I just want to show you the same um, the same thing here. So, uh, I personally, whenever I run bunch tight end, I get a ton of cover four. Um, I get a ton of cover four. So, this is a uh, something that I think you can use that really will help with the cover four defense. The slant is one of the best pull routes in the entire game. But as you'll see, if they're in match coverage, your running back will be wide open to the outside. You also will probably have your slants and stuff like that. But, you know, this is all around one of my favorite concepts um, for beating cover four. Now, if you wanted to use this crossing route, if you wanted to keep the crossing route on the field, I just want to show you what this does against cover four drop. Unfortunately, what it does is it pulls that safety back. And so you, your bomb is not as open as it was. But, but you know, I mean, you have some other, some other options. One other thing really quickly against cover four quarters, I'm going to talk a little bit more about this in the future. But one of the easiest ways to kind of bomb cover four quarters is to just simply streak the running back. The, oftentimes the cover four quarters defense will basically forget the running back exists, uh, especially on this little vertical streak right here. Now right here he actually did a really good job, but streaking the running back is a very effective strategy for cover four quarters. But anyways, all that to say, that's how you bomb cover four. So I want to show you it one more time. You're just going to flat the tight end. You're going to put the running back on a smart routed option route. And then you're going to essentially put the left side receiver on an out and put the circle receiver on a slant motion across. And again, as long as you have time in the pocket, there's no way they're going to be able to, to do that. Obviously, if they get a throw out of sack, you know, that is what it is. But if you want to get the full offense from the bunch tight end, it is available in the description. It's just 15 bucks. In my opinion, it is the best offense in the game, hands down. It's really not even a question in my mind. Um, this is this is truly a phenomenal, phenomenal offense. It gives you the ability to do everything that you need to do offensively. Um, it, it really does. Obviously, with practice mode, the sheds are a little bit ridiculous. So I'm going to go ahead and spy these guys just so you can see the routes one more time. But the beauty of this offense is it has beaters for every coverage that they could do. Every single coverage in the game is is not going to be applicable to this formation. It just does such a good job. As you see there, that safety is just held like crazy right over the top. One play touchdown against the cover four. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to get a free sample to that ebook, maybe you're still on the fence and you haven't, um, you, you want a little bit more information about the ebook, all you have to do to get that is just text me. I have a free one hour sample video available for you in my text message membership videos, which are completely free for you to sign up for. And literally, all you have to do is just pull out your cell phone. My cell phone number is 812 216 three six four four just shoot me a text message and say hey cody i saw your youtube video i want to get that free sample to the bunch tight end and what i'll do is when i see that um you'll never get a computerized message it's always going to be personally from me and whenever you, i see that message i will shoot you um a link to that video so thank you so much and you can also ask me any madden questions that you want um as well but if you want to get that full ebook it is available in the description for you for just 15 bucks Thanks for your time. I really appreciate all the support, and we're going to continue um, to continue uh, working and getting better as a Madden player. Thanks a lot for your time, and we'll see you on stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time.